Whoa, did you just stumble upon this channel because you wanna know about the top eight cities to live in in Southern California? Because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the top eight cities to live in in Southern California. And the factors that we're considering come with affordability, the schools, the safety, and the job opportunity. And if you guys stick around until the end, I'm gonna share with you the number one city that's kind of a hidden gem that not a lot of people talk about, but it is worth the wait. So stay tuned, because we're gonna get after it right now. Again, I'm gonna be sharing the top eight cities to live in in Southern California with the four categories that I mentioned. So this is what I've compiled personally, along with when I talk to clients that have moved to these areas, these are what cities everyone says that they wanna to move to when it comes to affordability, the schools, the safety, and as well as the job opportunity. And so I'm gonna be giving you guys one through eight, and hopefully you guys will learn some information. I'm gonna get down to the nitty and gritty a little bit about those areas and give you get a little bit more info and insight so you guys know and you're well prepared for whenever it comes to make that decision when you move to Southern California. So if this is your guys' first time to this channel and you guys wanna know everything about living, eating, breathing, in Southern California, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Southern California. My name is Jonathan. We get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move. And we absolutely love it. So whether you guys are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom one-on-one -on -one so we can get help you make that smooth move to Southern California. So you guys, let's jump in the top eight and let's get started. So number eight, we're gonna be working our way from the top to bottom. It is going to be Anaheim, California. Anaheim, California has a population of a little over 345,000 people. They have great public school ratings. It's a great place for families. It's very diverse. It has amazing weather. And you guys, they're known for hosting Disney Park, California Adventure, Knott's Berry Farm, Farmer's Park, as well as Bowers Museum. Anaheim has a lot to offer, whether it's outdoor or indoors, a lot of activities. Again, it's great for families with great schools. Now, the only downside is it does get a little crowded due to a lot of tourists coming to Disney Park and California Adventure. So that's why we're naming Anaheim, California as number eight. Now, number seven is gonna be Marietta, California. Now, Marietta, California has a population of over 110,000 people. They have award-winning schools. They're a very safe community. They're actually ranked a couple years back top two of the safest cities to live in in all the United States. And they're still up in the top 15 every single year. They are one of the safest cities in Southern California. Again, with the great schools, they are affordable compared to the coastal living or some of the other biggest cities. So it's a very affordable community. They are known for the schools and the safety. Now, the only downside about Marietta is it's not as crazy diverse or as big and expanded as we would think for it having over 110,000 people. However, that is changing. They are starting to bring a lot more businesses like Amazon Fresh, Costco, they have a Sam's Club, they have two Targets, they have a Walmart. You know, they have all these things that are coming up in small businesses. And so they are starting to, to expand. So that's a really great thing. And that's why we're naming Marietta, California as number seven. Number six is gonna be Beaumont, California. Beaumont, California has a population of a little over 50,000 people and growing. So Beaumont, California is actually the fastest growing city in Riverside County and one of the fastest growing cities in all Southern California. They are known for great schools. 
They are known for their affordability. So tents, a lot of people tend to move there for that. They are also known for a lot of outdoor activities. So they're right off the mountain. So you have a lot of things to do on the outdoor side. It's a good place to raise a family. and It's a good place to buy a starter home. They are a very diverse community and they're known for or the uh, they're known for the affordability and they're known for its rapid growth rate so how fast they're growing and how fast they're still going to grow because they have a projected plan to build over 7,000 more homes in beaumont in the next couple of years so that's why we're naming beaumont california as number six number five is going to be oceanside california now, Oceanside, California has a population of a little over 175,000 people. The number one thing that I love about Oceanside is the weather. So the weather in index in Oceanside, California gives them a 9.3. That's almost perfect. 9.3 out of 10. Sorry, I should have clarified there. A 9.3 out of 10 is the comfort weather rating. So it's never too cold, it's never too hot, it's just the perfect weather all year long. They are very diverse. They do have great public schools. They do have a beach as well. The location is awesome. You're not too far from downtown San Diego. You're not too far from Orange County. You can go inland within 45 minutes. You can also go to LA within an hour and some change. So the location of Oceanside, California is, is pretty good and it's it's one of the most um, affordable beach cities in all Southern California. I was trying to think of the word, not scripted, so have some hard times here and there, but it's one of the most affordable beach cities in Southern California. So that is another neat feature in why people tend to move to Oceanside, California. They are known for being, again, one of the most affordable beach cities in Southern California. They are very friendly diverse community and they do host a lot of military because they do have a big military installation base north of it um, right literally hugging oceanside and so that is why we're naming oceanside as number five now number four is going to be riverside california so riverside california has a population of a little over 325,000 people they have some great schools. They host University of California, Riverside, so UCR. They have great neighborhoods in Riverside City. So when I say they have great neighborhoods, the little suburbs in Riverside are very diverse. There's a tremendous amount of uh, little neighborhoods and communities that you guys can live in. And so that's a great thing is that it does host so much diversity. They have the number one neighborhood that you want to live in in Riverside County, and that is Canyon Crest. So Canyon Crest from Riverside is a very small little niche community with a little population of maybe 30,000 people. I can't remember the top of my head, but it's very safe. They have great schools. It's very affordable and it's very clean. So it's a nice community and it has a lot to offer. And so that's why we're naming Riverside as number four. So number three, number three, three top cities to live in in Southern California is going to be Eastvale, California. Now, Eastvale, California has a population of over 65,000 people. They are a newer suburb within Riverside County. Now, what do I mean newer, right? They just incorporated not too long ago. Within the past 15 years, they actually became officially independent their own city. And since then, they've grown um, and they've done a lot. So the schools are phenomenal. So they have a unified sh uh, school district that is shared with Corona in Norco, California. Again, the schools are amazing. It is a smaller niche community. Uh, it is in a little bit of higher end on the cost of living affordability for houses, but it's very safe. They have amazing job opportunity growth and it's just a great place to raise a family just because the schools, the things to do, the area, it's right next to Riverside, but you can get you know away from Riverside and get out into the mountains in a fairly short amount of time. And so that's a really neat feature about Eastville, California. It's a very up and coming town. 
And so that's why we're naming Eastville, California as number three. Number two is going to be Irvine, California. So Irvine, California has a population of over 270,000 people. They have amazing weather. This is a great place as well to raise a family. It's a very safe city for its size. It's a very safe. It has a lot of indoor and outdoor opportunities as well as they have great job opportunities. Whether you're looking for a small tech job or you're looking to be an educator, et cetera, et cetera, they have a lot of job opportunities and the growth is there. They're known for its, their safety, for a city of its size. They do host uh, University um, UCR, University of California of Irvine. And you guys, again, they're known for the cleanliness their jobs, like I mentioned, and their location. You're not too far from LA, 45 minutes south. And to the west, you're not too far from the beach. So Irvine is a great place to live. The only downside is starting to become unaffordable. So it is a great place, place to live now. However, Irvine is becoming a little bit unaffordable. Um, the cost of living is becoming a little bit higher. But overall, Irvine is great. All right, so number one everything you guys have been waiting for let me get the drum roll in here all right it's gonna be temecula california now why temecula california jonathan i'm gonna tell you this a lot of people see the really they just see all the opportunity the cleanliness they see that it has award-winning schools it's very safe a great place to raise your kids it's affordable and the location is amazing. And so Temecula is my number one spot where a lot of people tend to move to. Whether it's from Orange County, I have people moving from Irvine to Temecula, whether it's from Los Angeles, whether it's from the Bay Area, or whether it's from New York City, or Texas, or Utah, everybody always calls about Temecula. Again, everybody knows they have, it's a very safe community with amazing schools, with a lot of opportunity, the location, you can be in the beach in 45 minutes, you can be in downtown San Diego in an hour, you can go up to LA in an hour, you can go up to the mountains in an hour, you can be anywhere. So the location it is prime, it is key. There's a lot of things to do within Temecula itself. You can go outdoors, you can go indoors, you can hop on a balloon ride, you can go to the wine country, taste some wine or some of the breweries, go to Old Town, hang out, go to their awesome mall. It's an outdoor, indoor mall. A lot of restaurants, very diverse. Overall, Temecula, California takes it as number one. And so the job opportunities are there as well. And so that's why we're naming Temecula, California as the number one city to live in in all Southern California. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna share a little market recap so we can go over all eight of these cities. So let's get after that right now. So market recap time, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you understand why we chose these as the top eight cities to live in in Southern California. Again, there was a lot of factors to consider, but the main four factors that everyone always speaks about is usually how are the schools because people have kids or they wanna to go to school themselves, right? How affordable is it? How safe is it? And along with what's the opportunity for job growth or to just find a job in general? And those were the main factors that we consider. And these are the top eight cities that kind of knocked everything out of the ballpark when it comes to, again, the affordability, the schools, the safety, and the job growth. Now, there is other cities that we definitely consider that could have been in the top eight. Again, these were just what knocked everything out of the ballpark. And so I hope you guys found this useful. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below. I'll love to answer any questions that you guys have. Thank you guys very much for watching Living in South California.